Hey, this is Dr. Gene Shirakabra with Physical Therapy First. Today we're going to talk about misconceptions with leg length. One of the common issues that people see with leg length is measuring it statically or on the table. So one of the most common ways to do that is look at the malleoli in supine. However, that doesn't really translate functionally. Right? So having a patient laying down on the table and saying they have a leg length issue doesn't really do them any service when they're walking, running, doing functional activities. So what I always do is have the patient walk, right? the most functional activity there is. As they're walking, you're taking a look at their shoulders and their head. If they're dropping to one side, then you can say they have a functional shortness to that side. If when they walk, they have a vault, you can say that they have a longer side. And it's different saying shorter versus longer. After you determine that they have a functional leg length discrepancy, or if you have a hard time determining when they're walking, whether it's shorter or longer, feel free to contact somebody that regularly deals with these because once you figure out what they have, you need to figure out why they have it. And that's when you look into your joint assessments, whether it's the ankle, the hip, or the low back, because you want to fix the issue versus just creating a band-aid and covering it up.